peace and love sending you all positive energy high vibe success on your entrepreneurship all love all positivity make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel you hit the like button and you leave me any comments or any questions in my description below today i'm going to be doing the energy of your career choice and how is it going the present moment and what's to come now i'm going to do some energy and see what energy the ancient ancestors want us to channel into today now today is friday and friday is governed by venus okay so once we're dealing with the energy of venus and partnership it helps us to connect with the love, the beauty, the partnerships, the friendships, positive energy, our material possessions, the things that we love to buy and look neat and have our fashion and our luxurious energy, whatever it is for us. We want to tap into the energy of taking our divine counterparts out if we have divine counterparts go out for a show go out for a walk on a beach Ooh, that sound good <laughs> do something that is fulfilling and that helps you connect with the heart space of unconditional love now as i think of the heart space of unconditional love it makes me think of the quartium rhythm around 11 o'clock a.m. is when the heart is activated the most. So it's past 11 a.m. now, but we can also tap into the energy of love by connecting with relationships, also intense relationships and partnerships by flirting and showing our affection and love to our loved ones intense relationships but also family and also friends create that great companionship and show the ones that we love love look at someone today and tell them you love them <laughs> It's a powerful energy and it's the highest vibration to admit to. So every time you think of Friday, think of love, partnerships, material possessions, tapping into self-love techniques as well, and doing what's fulfilling to you. You're always going to hear me say, do what fills your cup up. Do what's fulfilling to you because everything starts with you at the beginning and there's no end so let's see what the ancient ancestors want us to know what zodiac sign you want us to tune into today spirit Ooh. all right we have the energy of cancer <laughs> beautiful energy of cancer uh you hear me speak about cancer energy it's the energy the, of the intuitive it's the energy of the moon it's the energy of love and partnerships of family home life intense relationships companionships relationships at the workplace and just creating harmony and love and a nourishing energy amongst humanity amongst all okay it's a beautiful energy and cancer expresses their self emotionally because they are emotionally they are empathic creatures and they love to find their way home by connecting with that loving and that mother and that nourishing and that beginning energy because that's what they are connected to the moon the moon is moody she changes her energy like every two hours she sits in a zodiac sign for every like two and a half days and then she's on to the next so she's very very moody and that's the energy cancer holds so it says intuition 
to protect attitudes from the past about resulting from the history of your feelings attitudes from the past about use your intuition and once we're dealing with the energy of cancer it just reminds us to also let go of the relationships with love that are no longer fulfilling for us okay practice love practice forgiveness and practice releasing things that is no longer high vibrating for us and that's the energy of the energy for cancer they are telling us when we're dealing with cancers they are loving creatures but they also is connected with being grounded being stable and you know some people don't know about cancer energy they are here to build as well you know they connected with the love and the family but they are also go-getters they are also great with the intellect they are also a service and great beings for humanity okay we are all high priests we are all teachers just as well as students so no one is better than the other but we all have a soul mission that requires for us to tap into the divinity of the divine okay and once we do you know we feel that great bliss we feel that love how you doing we feel that and it's up for us so what's going on for the career choice Ooh, that kind of like flipped out whatever that was Ooh, persistence okay and i probably have to hold these cards because okay you are being persistent at this time with your career of choice and you have the energy of adaptability you are being adaptable you are being balanced. You have the two of pentacles. You have the seventh of pen seven of pentacles. Persistent action, drive, and will. Okay. And when we think about the pentacles, it's all about the earthly materials. It's all about the possessions. Taurus energy. <laughs> And you are balancing the bag. You are moving forward. You have the secret of pentacles. It's all about going out there, seeking that career choice, being okay with it, and being able to build that strong foundation based upon what's fulfilling to you. 808 on the clock. So you have the energy of wands energy you have five of wands thriving you also have inspiration ace of wands and you have the energy of departure okay eight of pentacles every time we think of the energy of eight it's like a material possession earthly supplies karma and also everything moving eternally okay symbolic to the infinity loop so it's like you are thriving to be your best to reach your highest potential the fire energy of wands is about the solidification it's about the drive it's about the passion it's about the love and it's about moving forward on the goal okay and not being distracted and just knowing that once you focus on something and you are persistent it's going to work out for you for your highest good okay and we have to be able to tap into the energy of the wands energy of solidification we have to be able to have things stimulated by the process of the fire and a solidification to create something solid so what's to come is love abundance luck positivity the divine appreciation gifts abundance and 
prosperity. You have the Ace of Cups. So the ancient ancestors is like, you are going to receive everything that you're deserving of. Every time we work on something, we nourish it. We put our intentions into it. We, we put our intentions, our manifestation powers, our divinity are all into something. It manifests for us into reality. We work on it internally but we also work on it externally and it becomes abundance for us three three on the clock you have the energy of the witch of pentacles that's the energy of leadership the energy of power the energy of passion the energy of nourishing cancer energy loving healing being of service to others knowing exactly what you want balancing the pentacles the bags working on your soul mission from the heart and just working devotion and you have the energy of the star card so that's the energy of being balanced with the physical the spiritual the mental and emotional the star card is a lady sitting and she's in the water she's pouring from one cup and she's in the water cancer energy emotional fulfill having the overstanding of how to balance the emotions to build beautiful things the water for water energy is so powerful it's passionate and it reminds us to tap into the energy of unconditional love nourishing healer creation intuitive and finding our way back home spiritually by doing the necessary work I saw a young man yesterday and he had on a bright orange shirt young little boy about nine years old and his shirt was bright green bright orange and it said here to build and that's what we are here for so this career choice for you is abundant for you and everything is going to work out for your highest good so continue to work and you're going to receive prosperity of all okay great friends great partnerships success co-workers prosperity of all i love you all and i'm sending you all positive energy and high vibes i love you and i'll be back with more peace and love